my name is Mike Fortner and I'm a planner with the City of Newark. I'm going to introduce the City's web application for its zoning map. On the screen you can see the City's boundaries. Within the City are different colors representing zoning districts. The legend for the zoning districts uh, can be found in the upper right hand side by clicking the legend button and will show you each of the zoning districts and its corresponding color. You can zoom back and forth uh, by using the plus button to zoom in and the minus button to zoom out. Hit the home to get to the full extension. You can turn the zoning districts layers on and off by going to the layers and unchecking the zoning it will return you to just the City of Newark base map. The base map can be changed at the base ma map gallery. We have street maps, uh, topography maps, aerial photo maps. I think you'll find it easiest to, uh, to view the map with the streets when the zoning layer is on. To identify a zoning, you can also click on a zoning district and it will identify the zoning of that, in this case BD zoning. The tool also features an overview map that shows you the location of your view within the broader context. You can change your view by moving the box along different areas of the city. This also includes a measure feature you, where you can measure the distance or an area. To measure distance, uh, choose your units of measurement. In this case, we'll do miles, but um, if you have other things, it'd be uh, meters, yards, etc. You check your starting location, and M will come up, and then you trace your route, clicking for each turn till you get to the end point and then double click. And this will show the measurement. In this case, it's 1.04 miles. You can also do an area of a location using the area measurement feature. Choose acres, square miles, square, um, square kilometers, square feet, etc. In this case, we'll do acres. And then tracing the block that you'd like to have a measurement on. In this case, a block on East Main Street is 28.1 acres. You can also share this map with, uh, with social media and on email. And you can print your own custom version of a map using the print feature. That concludes this presentation. Thank you for listening, and I hope you find this and other GIS applications on this site useful.